This is Grace with Graceful Living. Ever think about growing vanilla? Ever wonder how to grow it? Today I make a special trip to Laie Vanilla Company to find out more about growing vanilla. My name is Saidi Levy. I'm here are the farmer and the owner of Laie Vanilla Company. And this is my farm. And so, how did you guys get started? Yeah, so we first got started when I was working for the water company and the vanilla was just growing wild in one of the areas that we were fixing the water break. And one of my friends that knew about vanilla told me, he had asked me, do you know what this is? And I had no idea at the mm -hmm. time. But after doing some research and talking with my friend, uh, we were able to find out that this was vanilla, the second most expensive spice in the world. And so as a hobby, I started bringing plants home. I started bringing cuttings home actually and I was planting them here in the back of my yard um, and for three years I was doing that while I was still working full-time until the point where we're able to finally have a harvest and we we're able to get into some markets and restaurants that I decided to quit my job nice. as a water <laughs> um, operator and I started farming full-time so that's basically Great. how it all started mm -hmm. so here we have some starters as you can see they're growing and as they get a little longer, we'll cut them and we'll propagate them mm -hmm. into bigger and longer plants uh, alongside there, behind the ulu plants. Mm -hmm. We also have some that we use for propagation. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to propagate this ulu too? Is that why you have all this ulu? Or? Yeah, so we propagated from this ulu tree, we've um, air layered um, this tree. Mm -hmm. And so now we have five plants. So grafts? Uh -huh. Yeah. Grafts. Do the grafts grow um, faster? Do they produce uh, breadfruit faster? Yeah, they do. Yeah, and then the seeds. Yeah. yeah. So from grafting, they do produce um, a year sooner versus uh, if you're planting them from seeds. Okay. Oh, the little ones, yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go in cut there. them and uh -huh. start making cuttings from these. Yeah. We have more cuttings. And then you just put them in the dirt and water them, basically? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do they like a certain kind of um, like sun or shade? So they do love shade. Oh, they um, do. They okay. do. Um, you can see here on the side of this wall. You're trying to shade it here. Yes. Yeah. So if I lift this up, you can see uh -huh. all the vanilla growing under there. And they like this climate, I'm assuming. Yes, they love it in the humid. Uh huh. Um, they love being in the shade, and also too much water can be a big problem for them. Sure. Because they're orchids. Are they drought resistant though? I mean, how often do you water these plants? Um, I, I would water them maybe once a week. Okay, so, so only are, once a week? Yeah, oh, once okay, a week. Okay. Maybe twice a week when it's really, really hot. Sure. Um, you know, in the summer it's been really hot lately. Uh huh, uh huh. So I've been out here maybe twice a week watering. And as you can see, they're already starting to shoot off. Oh, cool. And so that so means. So it just, just takes two months. That's not mm -hmm. bad at all. Yep. You can see here on this side. Got more shoots. Uh huh. So all these are all growing now. Yeah, and you just use little bamboo things mm -hmm. there. It's kind yeah. of use them if up you don't have trellis. a trellis. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's pretty simple how to propagate. I have some here. Uh huh. Smaller cuttings. So you could kind of do that yourself, like if you bought a little plant, and then at one point, of like what point would you be able to propagate it? Like how many leaves should be on it before you cut, like um, cutting off, like you know. Yeah, I suggest maybe leaving about three to four leaves. Okay. You know, the more the better. Sure. The more leaves, the quicker the plant will grow. Yeah. But the smaller size of the plant, the longer it will take to produce mm -hmm. any vanilla beans. Okay. So, so you're able to sell to these uh, local restaurants and stuff, mostly? Yeah. Great. So um, a lot of the restaurants that we supply are uh, Monkey Pod Kitchen. Oh, nice. Moku's nice. Kitchen. Oh, that's um, good. Senia. Uh-huh. Um, Fett, mm -hmm. Chef Robin over there at Fett. Nice. Oh, that's um, wonderful. Laviv at the Ritz Carlton. Mm -hmm. So it's and like these, um, you know, higher end restaurants. Yes. That's good. So these are the restaurants that are looking for vanilla beans that know how to cook with the vanilla. Yes, yes. That's great. That really enjoy and mm -hmm. um, know how to use the vanilla beans, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Got some vanilla. It's easy to move around. Yeah. That's a good idea, the PVC pipe. 
So you can just attach it to, like near a tree and it'll mm -hmm. just naturally grow up. Yep, and the arrow roots will basically grab onto the tree you can see here. Yeah, that's cool. You can see this? Yeah. Root. So it just kind of attaches on. Mm -hmm. Does it take the nutrients of the tree and it does. kind of? Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. <laughs> and so that, yeah, that's that's good for the plant. Yeah. I mean, it, it won't kill the tree. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because the trees, when they're well established, it'll get its nutrients deep from, from the, the earth. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, then it'll give cool. off some nutrients for the plant to grow and thrive. And you can see, they just love it. Yeah. On this mango tree. And I have about maybe. 10 to 12 plants on this tree. That's awesome. This is a really great idea with this PVC piping. I like that. Yeah. That's Easier to move idea. around. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Once they get to a certain size, you bring them here? Yes. So they can kind of have more room to grow. Uh-huh. That's a good idea. I see this little PVC piping here too. And so just this little bit of shade helps them a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, it's pretty easy to do too. You just need to like tie it to something, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if you had a tree, you could do that. Yeah. You know? And then we just put this up because a little bit more of a windbreaker. Uh-huh because they don't like the, the wind that much. Yeah. But if you walk down this, you can see. What do you use the coconuts for? Do you put it, like compost it, like below here for them or? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's just more nutrients. Sure. Um, the compost is in there too. We got mulch. Okay. Just as a medium. Yeah. So that oh, the roots the can grow in yeah. there. So these are the beans. That's cool. And yeah. then you just dry them out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just dry them out. It's a two-month process. Oh, is it two? Can you put them in the dehydrator or no? Um, I haven't tried. I've okay. heard some people doing that, but I'm not willing to risk that. Sure. Just so you just leave them in the sun, or how do you dry them out? Yeah. So first off, when they turn yellow at the tips, mm -hmm. what you want to do is you pick them, mm -hmm. and then you blanch them in 150 degrees Fahrenheit water oh. for about five minutes. Okay. And then after that five minutes, what you do is you wrap them up in the towel mm -hmm. and you put them in an insulated box for mm -hmm. two days. Okay. So 48 hours, it stays in that box mm -hmm. until the 48, 48 hours is done. You take it out, mm -hmm. you open it up and it'll be nice and brown. Sure. But it'll still be plump. Okay. As you can see here, uh -huh. it's still nice and plump. Yeah. And then what happens then is you go through that two month process where you dry it out in the sun. Sure. And then at nighttime, you wrap it back up and you put it in the cooler where you sweat it sure so it's the dry and sweating process mm -hmm. and then after the two month process you'll have the consistency of the vanilla bean where it's very pliable sure and then also you have the flavor and the enhancing of the vanilla flavor mm -hmm. in the pots did you try other methods before you did that or how did you know that was the way to do it um I just a lot of research okay uh, you know I researched online um, I reached out to different farmers sure we'll do vanilla Oh, nice. Okay. And uh, that was the best way that they, they suggested okay. to do so. And I found out that's the best way for us too. So. Yeah. So I asked Saeli if he has any other products in mind for the future. He is also growing cacao and dragon fruit. Thank you, Saeli, for showing us how you grow vanilla. You can find the Laie Vanilla Company at Kaka'ako Farmer's Market on Saturday mornings and at Kailua the first Sunday of each month. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Please go to graceinhawaii.com for more information.